Welcome to Swimmers fans, my name is Composite Energy and today we bring you my review of the T Transformers Titans Return Leader Class 6-Shot. And for those of you who don't know about 6-Shot, he's a very special Transformer because he has 6 different modes. That is right, he has a robot mode with 5 separate alt modes, make, uh, making it 6 in total. That is, um, that is impressive. This was impressive back in the 80s with his G1 toy, and this is still impressive today. And here we have his one of six modes, which is his car mode. This is Six Shots car mode. He's got four wheels, rolls really nice, and right here you can tell this is the car, because you, have, you have a, a grill-like feature there, and these are the windshields, the actual uh, windows which is kind of nice. And he's got two seats for some uh, Titan Masters there. So if you got some spare Titan Masters like I do, you just pop them in there. And there they are. Nice there, cruising. Cruising on the highway. Which is kind of neat. Let's take them off. And Six Shot here also came with two accessories. These two blasters that can be combined together. Just buy it like that. Into making the, uh, what was it called? Like the Titan, the Titan Master Carrier Weapon. We can just do this. You can pop them on top of there, using you know the pegs there, and there you go. It's kind of I never really liked this, but eh, it's a thing. It comes with these two weapons, which each mode has their own specific way to use this, which is really neat. For this one, you just pu plug them in back here, and then you are you're basically arming the um the car mode. And there you go, you got some blasters there. Now. I decided to add two more accessories, the swords, because to me, once again, if you don't know anything about Six Shot, Six Shot is a ninja, is basically a ninja, so, and even the original G1 toy and some more third party stuff always have their version of Six Shot to always have swords, so I was very disappointed when, uh, to find out that this Six Shot didn't come with swords, just the two blasters. I would have preferred the swords over the blasters, so I decided to add my own. Which, um, if you remember my, uh, my what is it, my uh, broadside review, I did the same thing there. I gave him an axe from, a, from another kit, from another uh, Transformer figure, which is the same, which is more or less the same line from where I got these swords. These swords I got from the uh, Construct Bot uh, uh, series of Transformer toys which were essentially uh, Hasbro's attempt at making Transformers more like Legos, more specifically Bionicles, which was a pretty, like, I got I got some of them, it was pretty neat. A bit of a shame, they, they, a bit of a shame that they, um, that the line sort of got canceled, that it discontinued, because it was a pretty interesting line. So these weapons um, specifically came from the set called, uh, I believe it was called the Construct Bots Ultimate Bumblebee. Who came with these uh, two swords that I decided to give to Six Shot because the gray color looks close enough to this gray, and the design wise looks honestly, I think they look look cool. And when and when you see him holding it in robot mode, it looks really nice because Six Shot is supposed to have swords. It's weird not seeing him with swords. And I've actually figured out how to integrate these accessories into the um, each vehicle mode uh, with varying degrees of success, but I have them. So for, to put how I plug them into um, car mode, it just pop them there, like so. So then you have swords on top of his uh, guns. Like I said, varying degrees of success for how this works. So let me take off the um, the blasters, and let's get on with transformation. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not to stay too long with each mode. So I'm now gonna go from car mode into his submarine mode, which only takes a couple of steps, and you'll notice this. With a lot of these modes that switching between modes, um, some only require like two or three steps, others are more involved. But from car mode to submarine mode is actually pretty easy. So lift this up, open this up, fill this here. And what you got to do here is you see this little peg here has to peg into this notch there. So it's going to be at an angle. So there you go. And there. And we're pretty much almost done. Just separate there, separate there. Rotate this, fold it down, fold it down, push this in. Rotate, 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 
push in, and there you go. This is the submarine mode. However, this is sort of my version of the submarine mode. Because um, I think what the instructions are supposed to have you do is, is I think it's supposed to have it be like this. Or, or something like that. I think this looks better because it, it adds more of a uh, hovercraft look to it. But this is referred to as the submarine mode. This is the one mode that was essentially slightly altered from the original figure. All other modes are based on their original G1 uh, figures alt modes, except for this one. This one was changed because on the original figure, and you can kind of see this if you do this, it resembles a blaster. Because the original figure, uh, was it, it, instead of a, what's referred to as a submarine mode, it had a gun mode, kind of like uh, G1 Megatron or G1 Shockwave. They would, he, he had his own little gun mode, which, if you hold it like this and like that, it kind of resembles a gun. Even more so when you add the, um, the accessories. The blasters, you just connect them. Like so. And then in these notches here onto here. Let's put it there. And there you go. This is how you have the guns in, um, in his uh, submarine mode. Or if you really want to, if you really don't want to call to it as a submarine mode and want to be more G1 accurate, just say his gun mode. And there you go. Pachoo, pachoo, pachoo. So it's neat that they had this, that they designed the, the this mode like this, because essentially it gives it gives um I guess fans the option of either keeping it like I do, keeping it as a submarine, because I like the idea that it's a submarine. And I kind of see it, even though I'm just really pretend. I'm just really pushing my imagination for that one. And but I do like that you still have the option if you turn it up sound like this. It kind of does resemble the gun mode, so it's sort of the best of both worlds, so to speak. However, I do like a submarine mode since we barely have any transformers that turn into into um, what is it? Sea vehicles, let alone submarines. We barely have any. Well, I think uh, what is it? Nautica is like the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, and, um, uh, what is it, Sonar, and, and like, that when Revenge of Fallen Depth Charge, I think. As I say, we, we barely have any, uh, sea Transformers, let alone some, any that can go underwater. Barely. Oh, and for how I store the, the swords, what I like to do is have them peg them back here. And add some extra length to the, uh, submarine mode. It looks pretty good so yeah not bad so that's pretty much it for the submarine mode no no other real interesting features um for use of the tight masters it's the same as the car mode just sit them there and that, that's pretty much it um i feel like i'm missing a couple steps for this because um i don't remember if this has to be a uh, longer but i like it like this uh, this is how I like having the submarine mode. I think the official mode is slightly different. But but that's it for the submarine mode. Now let's go into his um jet mode. So let's go from land for, to um, from land to sea and now to air. So you unpick this, and this is actually really simple. Fold this up, push it down, and fold this down until you hear the click. Click and click. There you go. And then you flip it over. Um, fold this down. To the side like that and then this um i like having it down i think it, lo it looks more uh, uniform uh, when you have it down like that and then you take this piece take it like that like so fold this piece around fold this piece around and just connect them connect them and there you have his jet mode who actually comes with if you fold around and flip this its own little landing gear so you can actually keep him standing there in his jet mode oh wait one extra step well one and a half extra step two steps actually pull this up flip out these wings and that completes the look so now you have his really cool looking jet mode i think after the when i get to his robot mode and get to the to the sort of um trivia section i'll say which ones were the uh i'll rank the modes as my like as, as which ones i like you know, and to store the weapons, you use this peg, peg it onto here, peg it onto here, and there, and then just adjust it so that these are straight, straight facing forward, and there you have the jet mode with weapons. 
Really cool. Now for the swords. Simple, just peg them on the side. Eh. And eh. There. Just peg them on the side. Not bad. All right, now from jet mode, we're gonna we're gonna finally go a little bit more complex, and we're gonna go into his tank mode. So we've done we're halfway uh, we're halfway there on his modes. We did car, uh, car, submarine, and jet, or spaceship. But I like calling this uh, his jet mode, so to speak. Yeah, I like calling this his uh, his space jet mode. I feel that all these vehicles are like you can put space in front of them, and no one will say, and no one can argue that. So fold this down, and for tank mode, flip them over. Put the landing gear back down, and then make sure that the the wings are facing this direction, like that. Oh, and for um, unfortunately the uh, oh, even though this is the cockpit for the uh, jet mode, you can't really put the Titan Master anywhere on here. I mean, if you want, you can on these pegs, you can put them there, standing on the nose of it. Like, if you really want to, you can do that. That looks a bit off. These are actually filled over here. Like, you can find these on a lot of the Titan Masters, especially the leader classes. So, um, okay, tank mode. So then separate here. Fold this like that. Fold it back. Fold it around. Fold it around. And doing that, it helps separate this. So then you separate this. You sort of unlock them, and then you pull them apart. Separate them. And then you basically just leave it like this. Because then you turn this, aim it that way, no, oh, aim it the other way. Rotate it like that, like so. Because this is going to be his tank mode, and these are going to be his, uh... Although it looks more, when you see the finished product, it looks more like, uh, like artillery. But this is, this is referred to as the tank mode. So then, rotate it this way, so then... Pull out, push it, wait, push it forward, rotate, forward, rotate down, fold that back, rotate forward. So it's on a double hinge here, both arms forward, rotate down, and for this back arm, make sure that the tread part is facing down, and then this just folds down like so, folds down like so. And just adjust this however you like, like having it like this at an angle. And here we have his tank mode. Nice little hover, hover tank looking thing with treads. And it does have some wheels. It's got two wheels here and one third here on the on top of the cockpit. So there you go. And it's got like he's got like three points of uh, three articulations here with the uh, turret. Which is um one ratchet, one there, one there, and then one here. So you can do up and down. It can't go side to side like an actual tank turret. That's why this looks more like uh, artillery. But this is his tank mode, which is pretty neat looking. And for the weapons, you just mm, think like this. No, I think this looks better this way. No, ah, this one. Peg it like this. To get some extra guns in there. There you go. Extra cannons. And for the swords, you can actually have multiple spots either on the side like this, up here on these pegs. I'd actually like putting it like this to add some like ramming ramming uh, strength to them. And there you go. And it does roll, which is nice. And one other cool thing is that this cockpit for the tank does open up. Whoops does open up so you can put a Titan Master in there close it up wait yeah, it worked before you can put it in there and huh does not want to close oh <laughs> he didn't fold and close I said close hey why don't you want to close there we go and it can close you gotta have him lie on his back but if you want to do it, eh, come on. And all right, your mileage may vary with these Titan Masters, but wait, ah, kind of. But that, that's the, the you got the idea. There we go. 
you got the idea. The Tide Master's uh, effectiveness varied because of the shape of the Tide Master itself. But there you have his tank mode. So now we are four of six. Let's go to his fifth mode, which is a beast mode of all things. Yeah, he gets a wolf mode. So just unplug all of this. And now let me raise the camera a bit because he gets, he gets a lot taller than the squat tank. So for this part, fold this out, fold this down, and wait, and make sure you clip this back in. There you go. Clip it back in. Fold these parts down, because these are going to be the heels. Uh, unpeg this, point it up, unpeg this, point it up, and an angle. I like it at an angle. Uh, rotate these parts out, and I like, and I, and I prefer folding these in like so. I think it looks better that way. Like so, and if you want, you can extend this to add more uh, more length to his uh, forelimbs. So then rotate this forward, fold out these paws, rotate it forward, fold out the paws, and make sure the tank treads, you just collapse them and fold them on the other side, fold them on the other side, like that. And then for this, fold them down like so. Like so, you gotta finagle a bit. But once you have it lined up, it should look like this. Oh, and then you come down here, and you can fold out these little paws, these little uh, feet, the hind paws, on uh, both sides. See so some uh, hind paws. So you have the heels back here, just adjust it a bit. That it all more or less lines up. And hold on, some don't seem right here. All right, there we go. And then you just come down here, just come in here, and wolf head. And fold this down a little more, and there you go. Here is his wolf mode, which looks pretty cool. It's not bad, it's not bad. It's got some articulation. The head can go up and down, and mouth can open and close. Is really cool and if you move these out like so he does get some 360 degrees a forward elbow there and open down at the claw and then hinge there in and out and open down at the claw and a sort of at the heel and there you go pretty neat and another interesting thing is how oh and one important thing I forgot to mention how it uses the accessories for this plugs it onto here and you get whoops and you get come on there we go his tail really neat really nice integration there it gets a tail and another cool thing is how it uses the titan masters first you put them in their head modes and you just put them on top of here in this hole so to fill out that gap you put a Titan Master and there you go pretty neat some look better than others and some get in there but easier than others let me put out this other one which is a little bit more square I had trouble putting this one in there hold on come on come on there we go see it gets like it looks like he has hair or like a brain sticking out it's neat. My, like I said, mileage may vary depending on Titan Master, but it's neat that there is a gap in there that can be filled with a Titan Master in its head mode. Really neat. All right, so let's get on to his uh, final mode, his robot mode, which it's the easiest to get to robot mode is from this mode because he's, he's practically in his limbs. So take this, separate it. Oh, and this is a bit silly, but the only way I could find to store the swords in this mode it's just by doing this. Connect them. Put them in the mouth. Close it. And just have them hold it. That is it. I could not find any other conceivable way of, of having these swords store in there. Like I said in, in, in wolf mode, I like having uh, this in. And there you go. So, let's get into his robot mode. So we are now 5-6 of his modes. Let's get on to number 6. Fold that. Fold that in, 
And it's actually gonna get a little tall, so let me raise camera. Pull this whole thing up, like so. Fold up the wolf feet. Fold down. Fold this out for extra articulation. For the wings, I like having them pointing up. I like having the wings pointing up for the claws here. Fold up, fold up, and then down here, fold out the fists. And then, take this whole thing out and pull up the head. And if you want G1 accuracy, you take out the fins and have them be out like that. However, they sort of get in the way, whoops, they get in the way of articulation. So I don't like having them out in his robot mode. So I fold them in, and I prefer having Six Shot looking like this. And here is Six Shot in his awesome robot mode. In his, uh, let me lift this up a little bit more, he is pretty tall. In his robot ninja mode. Let's get a close up at the head sculpt. Which is really cool. And also, since he's a Titan, he's a Titan, he's a Titan Return figure, you're probably wondering, well, where's his Titan Master? Well, he's wearing it right here. Uh, one fun, cool thing about leader class figures in Titans Return, you don't need to remove the Titan Master in order to transform him. Any of them, as far as I know. So yeah, that's the, probably the best praise I can give these uh, the leader class figures for Titans Return. My favorite thing, you don't have to remove the Titan Master to transform them. For all other figures, Voyager, Voyager and smaller for the Titans Return line, you have to remove it in order for the transformation to work. Not for leader classes. Because of this whole helmet design. You pop this open, put your nail in there, and you pop out little Titan Master. So close it back up, put it off to the side, and then you just have him with no mask, with no face. Here we have Six Shot's face. Really cool. I think this is probably one of the more uh, detailed faces I've seen. Even though it's kind of plain, it looks really well done. Plus, they even had this, they added this little headband here. It's supposed to be a headband with the uh, Japanese kanji or the Japanese symbol for the number six. Nice touch. So then fold them out and here we have Revolver. I love the name because his name is Six Shot and this guy's Revolver and a revolver is a type of six shot gun. It could be. Now for articulation you got ball jointed arms, ball joint head, hinge, hinge, well hinge. There you go. Hinge, hinge. That's it. And that's all you got. So let me put him back into his head mode. Like so. And shove him in there. And there you go. Now for articulation. For articulation. Here's what he has. Swivel at the head. Uh, in and out. You can sort of extend this out. They give 360 rotation. In and out. Um, you can give him lower shoulders, but then it looks weird. So, there we go, like that. Elbow there, uh, swivel there at the elbow. Elbow swivel and elbow bend. Uh, he's got a universal, if you lift up these skirts, he's got a, like a universal joint there. Ratchet joint for in and out, for uh, up and down, and side and in and out, which gives him a fantastic kick. He's got a knee that goes both directions, so he has, a one, he has basically a 180 knee. Which is interesting, even though th th this is for the wolf mode. So, and that's pretty much it. And, oh, and also he has an ankle pivot, but it's a very deep ankle pivot. It only goes like three steps. It goes standard, halfway, all the way. So if you want, you can have him doing a split, which is really cool. However, because of this, that it's only three, three degrees, either nothing, either zero, halfway, and then all the way. I would have liked some more control into that because you can't really utilize those hinges very much. See, you can't. It'd be some very weird poses. But I am happy that he has that. And that's it. So the articulation is pretty good. Pretty good amounts of articulation. For his weapons, accessories, it's just guns. Just plug them in there. And there you go. He has his guns. Nice, sweet, and to the point. Six Shot has his blasters. But what I like to do, because you know, a ninja is supposed to have swords, what I do is that I have the guns, the blasters, pegged onto his back like so, fold them like this, straighten them out, and then just store them like that. 
so that I can have room to bust out the swords. So have him hold swords. And he actually uses swords quite well. You can actually get some really good poses because of this little feature. You fold in the hand and you can have him point the sword at you. Which is really neat. You can get some really, really uh, nice little dynamic poses with this, uh, with this effect. With this, uh, with this sort of uh, look. Although I, I kind of wish that these were a little bit stronger, so that a little tighter, so that they can uh, stay in place for those dynamic poses. Yeah, you can actually have them fold and actually have some pretty cool poses. See? Not bad. Or have them be standard and whatnot. But I like having them pointing forward because they look pretty cool. It's a pretty cool pose. So, yeah, that's Six Shot. What do I think? Overall, fantastic figure. Both as for a collector, such as myself, and also as a gift. You can't go wrong with Six Shot here. You have a lot of play value with his different modes, and also transforming between them is really simple. Now between, like there's, there's only a couple sets between certain modes and a lot more for others. Like if you're trying to go from car mode, like you saw from car mode to jet mode, it's only like two or three steps, but from jet mode to let's say robot mode, it's a lot more steps. There's a lot more involved in it. But overall, Six Shot is a fantastic figure. And just a, a just fantastic uh, figure. But I've noticed that he's... And also, uh, so what can I say? All of his modes, I think, are really cool. But um, if I have to rank them, I'll say that the... Um, I'll put them in this order. The best one, honestly, is his robot mode. So robot mode is number one. Uh, number two would have to be... I really like the jet mode. Then the car mode. Then tank. Then Wolf, and the one I like the least is the Submarine. But I still like all the modes, even though I like the Robot mode the best, and the Submarine to me is the weakest. It's still, an, uh, still some awesome modes. The transformations are pretty straightforward. They're not too complicated, and I like that. And also, um, uh, what else? Well, that is pretty much it. Solid transformations, solid... All the modes, I think, are pretty solid. And just, I love that you don't have to remove the Titan Master head. You don't, the, the Titan Master head when transforming. The whole helmet just folds away. Fantastic. M gets my seal of approval. This, this thing is amazing. Highly recommend Six Shot here. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. In terms of facts, uh, nothing else to really say. I already mentioned it during his modes, like how... They rechanged the gun mode to a submarine mode, and how I prefer that, because I always found the gun mode to be really dumb on full-size transformers, and say that should work more for uh, either target masters or for uh, uh, minicons. But, um, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess the other, the other little factoid I can add is that this mold was actually re slightly retooled and repainted, into quick switch just like the original g1 uh figure was repainted and slightly retooled into quick switch so was this one however the leader class quick switch is only available as part of a as of right now is only available as a uh as part of a gift set i think it's called the siege of, on velocitron with like five other figures i think i think it's a pretty good it's a pretty good set but the thing is i prefer six shot over quick switch and that's about it. I have nothing else. That's he's that's the only reap, and I already mentioned everything else before him. Yes, even the kanji thing and everything. So yeah. Fantastic figure. Highly recommended. You cannot go wrong. You can't go wrong with this guy. Fantastic. So yeah. This is composite energy. This has been my review of the Transformers Titans Return Leader Class Six Shot. This is composite energy. Signing off. Peace out.